Hi, I'm Jim Benderwald, and I'm with Phantom Knowledge. I provide training for the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, the Phantom 3, and also the Inspire 1. I have with me here, this is the Inspire 1 Pro. I also provide training for the Phantom 4 when it comes out. Today I want to talk about the increased risk of flying in cold weather. I'm on a forum where one of the topics of the discussion is cold weather crashes. And so one person had written about his crash of a Inspire One Pro, and I'd like to read his story. He says, it was a new battery, used just three times, fully charged, kept warm and running in my running SUV until the flight. I did the compass dance battery voltage, it looked fine, and was in the green with the battery at 98%. Had insulation stickers on the battery and was running the 1.6 firmware. That's the latest firmware which was designed specifically to help in cold weather. He says, being in Minnesota, I was very mindful of the cold weather issues with the batteries, so I've been extremely cautious flying and making sure my batteries were always fully charged and always making sure my voltage readings were looking good. Take off and hover a bit to make sure everything is looking good, and it was. I proceeded to slowly move the aircraft into a position, a shooting position, and not moving at more than seven miles per hour, as I did this to make sure things were warming up nicely. Battery and voltage was still reading fine. Then, at 75%, I got a overcurrent during discharge error. With that, my voltage reading was now in the yellow, even on hovering. I knew something wasn't right with the battery, so I safely maneuvered to an open area and slowly worked on the descent. I was at 150 feet and was trying to be very light on the throttles, but even the lightest touch put the battery voltage in the red. The battery was still reading at 60%, though I wasn't panicking, and slowly bringing it down, knowing I had a lot of time to get to the ground, or so I thought. At 52% battery life, and at 49 feet, it fell to the ground, and that was that. And then, on the forum, there was extensive discussion as to, you know, getting more information and maybe what he could have done differently. But this is just as a warning to say that in cold weather conditions, the increased opportunity for crashes is multiplied many times. In my own personal experience, one time near Christmas, I was out, not up very high at all. I kept the aircraft within, within sight, uh, but it didn't take long and my mobile device completely shut down. It had like 50% battery and it just went dead. So I was, I was able to bring my Inspire back and land it safely, very fortunately. But I never even heard anybody talk about the mobile device actually dying as a result of cold weather. Well, another time I was out and I had, I didn't get an air, but when I was out flying, it was, it was cold. I'd been keeping everything warm. I was in, uh, everything was in my car, which was warm. My battery, I have the insulation stickers on my battery, not enough. It was still, when, when I got out there and, and flew, the, uh, the voltage turned, turned red. Well, when it's red, you know you're in trouble. So I brought it back uh, safely, was able to land it safely. But wow, what a scary, what a scary thing. And so even having the insulation stickers on the battery was not enough. Having the, the Inspire in the car, in the warm car, was not enough. So what should you do? Well, if you are going to go ahead and fly in cold weather, what I recommend that you do is you get yourself, if you have an Inspire, you get yourself part 15, the battery heater. And uh, you put the, the battery in the battery heater and that will warm up the battery. So it goes inside, you pop it in, you turn on the battery like you would inside the Inspire and then it starts warming, warming up. 
And then you also have to be careful to not leave it in there too long. It's only to be in there for about 10 minutes or so, but it'll be nice and warm. Now, there's uh, operating temperatures that you need to be watching out for. The battery operating temperature should be in Fahrenheit, somewhere between 14 degrees Fahrenheit and 104. If it gets beyond 104, you can cook the battery, and it's another, uh, another way for the, for the aircraft to crash. Now, um, centigrade, that is minus 10 to 40 degrees centigrade. Now, for voltage, it differs as to whether it's the Inspire or whether it's the Phantom. With the Inspire, your Inspire voltage should be running at about 22.7 volts. If it gets down to 17.5, you're in trouble. Or, you know, if it's in yellow or red, you know, you know that uh, you just shouldn't be flying. Just, just take it down, go home, wait for a warmer day. With the Phantom, normal voltage is 15.2 volts, and if it gets down to 12 volts, then it's getting too cold. So it's about ready to come down. I asked DJI tech support what happens if the voltage gets that low, and what I was told is that it will automatically go into landing mode, and it'll just simply uh, start landing no matter where you are. So if you're uh, in a very bad place, it's still going to land. So again, just another uh, thing to be very cautious of that if you're going to fly in cold weather, just remember you're flying at a time when uh, the opportunity for a crash or something bad to happen is multiplied. It's a, a great increase. So my battery is, is getting nice and warm. Uh, before I take it out, I should go ahead and turn it off. Take it out. And now with the insulation stickers, it should be nice and warm inside. And then I'll go ahead and put it back in the Inspire. Now, let's suppose you don't have an Inspire. Maybe you have a Phantom. Then what you could do is you could get yourself a nice um, cooler insulation bag and get some gel packs. And you put the gel packs in the microwave. Now, I've also heard you can use like bags of rice, but I think this is a little more practical. So uh, just make sure that, like this one says, ice, heat, that you can do both, um, both cold and heat. And then you put these in your bag and put your battery in there and put your mobile device in there. Keep your mobile device warm. And if you're in the wintertime and you're going to fly, I strongly recommend do everything you can to insulate your mobile device, insulate your batteries, uh, keep everything insulated and so you can fly safe. That should be it. I hope that, that this helps you to, uh, to fly safe. Uh, remember, if you like this video, give me a good thumbs up, become a member, and check out phantomknowledge.com. We provide step-by-step -step training. It starts at $20 for the first month, $10 for each month after that. Or you can go with the $48 for a year plan. And so we got fantastic information there and just helps people to learn from the very beginning all the way up to some advanced features of, of how to fly safely.